Details of an alleged $32 million Medicare fraud conspiracy were revealed in an indictment against the owners of Guam Medical Transport. Clifford Shoemake, his son Nick Shoemake, and Kimberly Casey Connor are facing 44 counts of conspiracy and money laundering charges in federal court. Tiffany Jewelry, a half million dollar condo, vacations to Europe, Hawaii, and Australia, and tens of thousands of dollars in credit card purchases. These are just some of the things federal authorities say the owners of Guam Medical Transport purchased with proceeds derived from an elaborate health care fraud scheme. The U.S. Attorney's Office obtained a federal grand jury indictment against GMT owners Clifford Shoemake, Casey Connor, and Shoemake's son, Nicholas Shoemake. Clifford Shoemake, who also serves as a pastor for New Covenant Life Church in Tamuning, was the president of the company, while Connor was the vice president. Nick Shoemake, court papers say, was the company's executive assistant. The three are the latest to face allegations of Medicare and TRICARE fraud in connection with the company. Two employees of the company, General Manager Jared Atta and Billings Manager Trevor Cruz, earlier this month pleaded guilty to health care fraud and have agreed to cooperate with authorities, which means they may testify against their bosses. The allegations are similar to the charges Ada and Cruz pleaded guilty to, that the Shoemakes and Connor were the masterminds in setting up the conspiracy to defraud the federal government by instructing their employees to falsify claims forms being submitted to the federal government. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, between March 2010 to March 2014, GMT submitted claims to Medicare and TRICARE totaling $32.7 million, which resulted in about $10.8 million in payments to GMT. It was further part of the conspiracy that defendants would enrich themselves by transferring and disbursing monies fraudulently obtained to themselves and others, court papers state. And that wasn't all, apparently. Court papers say that the three also filed false claims against the business to reduce the company's taxable income, thereby reducing the corporation's tax liability. The U.S. Attorney's Office also alleges that the owners set up a shell corporation called Fig Tree, or FT Development in Saipan, which expenses were disguised as billing services and management fees and falsely listed as business expenses of GMT to reduce their tax liability. Furthermore, the three are accused of paying fictitious consulting fees for services that were never provided. You can read the full indictment online at PacificNewsCenter.com.